Well, it's almost May and winter is definitely around the corner. We've got these bits of uh, branches that's fallen off because the rosellas are starting to come in and chew off the, uh, the branches and now they're falling. Got to clean it up. Um, a few weeks ago, I fertilized it, which will be the last time for the year now that winter is around the corner. And um, then it'll just be a matter of waiting for spring and then I'll, I'll start the maintenance program from there. But that's a quick update of the lawn and nature strip. It's good now. Before it was pretty bad, but anyway, that's the latest. In one of my last videos, I used this tool and um, a few people were asking in the comments what it was. Um, this is a lawn leveler and it's made predominantly of just two pieces. One is um, this part, the handle, and then the bottom part are these four rods and it's just connected by, by this bolt. Um, although the nut came off when I was using it last, so I need to just get another one from my hardware shop to replace it. Um, this is just so we can go back and forth. And this is a really great tool for leveling out your soil because um, all the excess soil just kind of rattles down to the bottom. And this particular product I got from Bunnings, um, uh, I can't remember how much it was. It was less than $50, but well worth the investment. So this is the soil leveler. And um, I believe Aldi is also selling this product, a similar type of product for around $20. Now I'm here at my dad's place and he's just re recently um, hired a, a uh, what do you call it? Rotary hoe or something like that to um, just kind of get rid of all the dead grass and weeds that was on the yard and um, just turn the soil over and it's been raining the last few days and um, so it was a good time to use the lawn leveler for here as well. He hasn't decided what type of grass he's putting on at the moment but we're in Melbourne and I said to him that Santa Ana cooch or a cooch type of grass would be great because at the front of his place, as you can see, there's no tree on the nature strip to block the sun. I mean, there's a massive tree next door, but that doesn't actually affect the amount of sunlight that that um, gets received here on the lawn. So that's why I suggested Santa Ana Cooch. Um, the other one that I suggested to him was to have um, uh, what do you call it, Matilda, Matilda Buffalo, because apparently it's a really hardy grass and it's, it does really well in the shade and cold climate, so I thought it'd be quite perfect for, for um, given that we're here in Melbourne. So I think he's gonna be going with that. Anyway, he's going to be um, ordering that in the next couple of days and we'll be lay it, laying it down, so I'll uh, try to get, capture some video of us doing that. But apart from that, uh, yeah, so that's, that's the latest updates with my lawn and now I'll probably give updates with my dad's lawn as well. Just so you get a, a variety of the type of grasses that we're using. Um, again, I'm, I'm no grass expert. I'm just kind of like learning as I go and um, researching what I can on, on the internet. Um, so all the experiments that I do, I'll share it with you guys. And uh, if you've got any questions, just pop it in the comments below. And if you want to follow along with the updates, uh, feel free to subscribe and hit that like button. Okay, thanks very much. See ya.